a new year. New members, new energy, new opportunities. As we welcome all things new, I want to remind this chamber of something old. It's called the New York State Constitution. The legislative power of this state, the legislative power of this state shall be vested in the Senate and the Assembly. We have the power, the ability, the talent, and the responsibility to stand and act on our own. To new members and to longtime colleagues, I urge you to not pay attention and to ignore a couple statements that have been made. One, there is no legislature. Two, I am the government. <laughs> we are the government of the people in this state. Our authority rests not only in law, ladies and gentlemen, but in the 20 million people that we represent who sent us here to be their voice. I hope as a body we act that way each and every day. Some concerns. We lead the nation in out-migration. More than one million people have left our state in the last 10 years. I guarantee the people leaving for other states is not exclusive to one political party, and it certainly is not the weather. <laughs> Reversing this alarming trend should be among our highest priorities. I know there's a robust agenda ahead, and we will disagree on many issues, but we need to seek and try to work to together to find common ground. As a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, is there's lots of issues that will be forthcoming. We're 48th in the business tax climate. We're the second worst in debt burden. We're the 47th for property taxes. We're the 48th in business uh, friendliness, which is not good. We're 50th in tax freedom day. We're the sixth worst state for condition of our infrastructure. We're ranked the worst state to retire in. We had the highest per pupil school spending the second most costly Medicaid program in the country. We've ranked 50th for the highest childcare costs, and of course, the out-migration of millions of residents that we need to reverse. Priorities, ladies and gentlemen, we have to lower the tax burden. We have to help the mom and pop businesses succeed and create jobs. We have to upgrade our roads and bridges throughout the state. We have to fix the MTA disaster. We must achieve real ethics reforms. We have to make the property tax cap permanent. We have to rein in wasteful, ineffective economic development programs. And certainly, as I mentioned in prior years, which is also mentioned here today, that we need to address the heroin and opi opioid epidemic. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow New Yorkers are dying. All walks of life, we have to have action that saves lives in this state on this topic. It is beyond normal. It's about our neighbors, it's about our families, it's about our friends. We have to stop the deaths and destructions of lives in our state. So Mr. Speaker, as we go forward, and I know there's a lot of other items on everybody's agenda in terms of what we're going to focus on this coming year, I understand that. Uh, but we will and continue to speak out, speak up, and vote our conscience. And that's the, the message I always uh, deliver to our conferences. The 130,000 plus people that sent us here, those are your constituents to worry about, about first and foremost. And you should be voting with your heart, not by party. 
And our job is to speak up and speak out and, and vote. And we will continue to do that, but in a respectful manner. I respect each and every member of this body, regardless of your political affiliation or background. I respect you. I want to work with you. Our conference wants to work with you. And we will work with you. And the most important thing is hopefully we'll listen to each other and respect each other's opinion, even though it might be different. So with that, Mr. Speaker, thank you for the opportunity to say a few words. Thank you to each and every one of you for serving the public and congratulating all of you on your election to this body. And I look forward to a great 2019. Thank you. Thank you.